happy Friday. We're back with another five weekly favorites, and we're sorry we've been in my the past couple we weeks. Two weeks? I think two weeks. We haven't had time to film these mm -hmm. videos since they are weekly, and it's not something we can really pre film, so apologies there. But we're back, and first off is a show favorite, and it is TLC's While You Were Out. Mm -hmm. And you guys know, I think we've, we've definitely spoken about trading we spaces have. on our in channel. In a weekly favorites. In a weekly favorites, and they brought back trading spaces last um, spring, summer, mm -hmm. uh, and we were so thrilled. And then followed by trading spaces was Nate and Jeremiah by design, and we had never watched that. And because they were on at like the same time or in the same hour, we became addicted to that show mm -hmm. as well. And Trading Spaces season, I believe this is technically season 10, mm -hmm. um, premiered, I think it was like last week? I don't know. Yeah. Exactly. But, um, and after it, they brought back While You Were Out, which was another show that TLC used to have. Mm -hmm. If you don't know the premise, basically, um, a couple or like a husband or a wife would leave for two days and they would redo uh, a room in their house while they were gone as like a complete surprise. And we really love that, just mm -hmm. like Trading Spaces. And they brought it back and I actually prefer the format now because they do neighbors. Um, so kind of like Trading Spaces, but um, they have one design team from TLC. So it's trading spaces like yeah. designers and then the other from HGTV So on the first episode it was Ty and Hildy were the design team in one of the homes and then the other one I cannot remember their names, but they have the show um, Good Bones, I believe it's called. Oh, yeah, yeah, and it's a mother and daughter and I really like them And so I kind of like that It's uh, a little bit of both channels because we like both of them. Mm -hmm. We love HGTV, too So I don't know really glad that they brought it back if you didn't know and used to watch it definitely check out the new season It's on Saturday nights um, And right after uh, Trading Spaces. Mm -hmm. Okay, next up is a makeup favorite and we can't put these in a monthly favorites yet because they're relatively new to yeah. us but Laura Mercier sent us all of their new Caviar Chrome Veil <clears throat> Lightweight Liquid Eye Colors. And they are so amazing. They're so beautiful. I can't even get over it. I was just telling Britta, I never get excited about eye products. I have a ton of folds in my eye. I don't know what you would call that. It's not like they're hooded, but the eyeshadow doesn't look very good on my eyes, I feel. So it takes like a really impressive product for me to be really overwhelmed and, and like happy about something. And as soon as these came in the mail, I was like, oh my god, these are amazing. And they're basically just a liquid shadow, but they are like sheer buildable. Yeah. They start out very sheer and they just give you like a tinge of color with a lot of glitter. And yeah, there's a lot of glitter in them. A lot of glitter, which is another thing I normally don't like, but something about these is just magic. Um, I'm wearing the shade... Gilded Fresco just very lightly on my lids today, so it's just so, um, it's just so sheer and pretty. Like, I can't get over how natural it looks, and I can swatch one for you. Well, we should probably insert pictures. Yeah, we can insert photos, but just to, like, give you an idea of how it looks. And they almost have, like, a cooling effect. They just have a nice little doe foot applicator, um, that allows you to put it on really easy, but you can also, like, put it on the back of your hand. I, like, dab my finger on it, and then I dab it on the lid. Really easy there. They blend out so beautifully. They are not as long lasting as the caviar sticks. Mm -hmm. Those like last forever until you um, try to get them off. But these, um, I feel like they could just wash off with water. Like they're very. Well, I, um, so I'm wearing the shade Moonlight Shimmer. Mm -hmm. I'll look down so you can see. And at first I put it on and it was pretty sheer, but then I realized I wanted to try to build it up. So then I put on my NYX glitter primer and that it was way more um, opaque when mm -hmm. I used the glitter primer. And that glitter primer generally like grips on anything I put yeah. on top of it. So if you're worried about the longevity, just use a glitter primer That's or true. just an eyeshadow primer and you should be fine. The NYX glitter primer I highly recommend for anything glittery because I was just worried like as the day went on that the glitter would fall on my face and I just don't don't like that. Um, so use a glitter primer and you should be fine. I will say it doesn't really do that though. I wore, I did last weekend, I layered um, the shade rose gold metal and I should be posting this photo to Instagram soon so you can see how it looks but I layered rose gold metal over one of the caviar sticks since those are more long lasting yeah. and it kind of adhered really well and lasted all night and it was so really any nice. base yeah any base um I mean I'll, this is my first time wearing it on my bare lid so we'll see if the glitter falls out but yeah they're so beautiful and thank you so much Laura Mercier for sending them to us because we are so excited about this launch yeah we like, love them they're so pretty Okay, next up is a truly random favorite, but um, I went on a work trip recently, and um, I have, like, on my computer, 
well, but I'm sure a lot of you can relate, but the earbuds that mm -hmm. like come with your phone don't work in the computers, right? In any of them. Like it has the little, whatever this is called. The lightning cord. The lightning cord. Mm -hmm. And then this is like the normal one. And so I always end up bringing like three different pairs of earbuds mm -hmm. and they always get tangled in my bag. So I was looking at Amazon for a way to like keep them not tangled and have them not be tangled together. And I found these little headphone organizers, I think, or headphone detanglers. And they're real leather and they just have this cute little brass snap. It was like $5 for a pack of six or eight. Six? Yeah. Oh my God. It's That's a good a deal, right? Mm -hmm. And um, I, they worked like a charm. Like you just circle every, or roll everything up and then put this little organizer on and nothing got tangled in my bag. You could easily use this for like an HDMI cord, um, a computer, well I guess a computer charger would be too thick but anything that's thinner this would work well with like a, um, a camera charger mm -hmm. something like that and yeah I just feel like they're kind of a hidden gem of Amazon and I know a lot of people have um what are they called the pods oh airpods airpods mm -hmm. a lot of people have airpods now but I'm not there yet so in the meantime I'll be using these until further or not is Okay, next up is a Trader Joe's favorite. You guys know we can't go a week without talking about something from Trader Joe's. This looks like, like almost be a monthly favorite. We've been eating it's it so, it true. so so much. It's the vegetable and soba noodle stir fry kit. It looks like this. It's a big bag. It says broccoli florets. That's how you say that word, right? Florets. Uh, is it? Florets. Florets. I would definitely say florets, but that's <clears throat> probably wrong. Bok choy savoy cabbage snow peas green onion with soba noodles and a soy ginger sauce and if you guys um knew that they if you didn't know they have stir fry kits they do and during the holidays they launched the brussels sprouts one and the green beans yeah which they don't even have the green beans one anymore do they no i don't think so i think it was just like a seasonal item i don't know they still have the Brussels sprouts one, but they introduced this one, and those just are like vegetable based, and they're delicious. But this has the addition of noodles, so it's kind of like a, a whole. It's like a whole meal. Yeah, it's, it's so, so good. good. It's so good. And um, it says how many servings do they advertise? Ugh, ridiculous amount. It's, it is seven. It says seven servings in here, but we split this. So, <laughs> but to be fair, so you don't think we're like total fatties? There's only eighty servings. 80 per, calories. Or 80 calories yeah. per cup per serve. So, what's 7 times 80? Um, 7 times 80. <laughs> I swear we're good at that. Just skip 3, it. 3,600? Uh, no. Oh my gosh. Keep talking. <laughs> no, I think that's right. 46. 5,600. There's a 6 in there. There's a 6 in there. 5,600. Okay, so I was kind of close. 5,600 calories in the entire thing. Uh, so we split it, so that's like... <laughs> <laughs> it's 280? Okay, this is that like, right? 200 okay, calories. Okay, I was right. See, I told you, you I'm good at math. So, 280, yeah. So, it's it's fine. I don't know who um, they think they are, saying that there's seven servings. Yeah, there. so just, just to know if you purchased that, there is not seven servings, or at least for our appetite, there's not. So, yeah, definitely pick it up. It's so amazing. I think anyone would like this. Yeah, it's it's spicy, though. It is mm -hmm. very spicy, but it has such a good flavor. It's not just, like, something that's spicy with no flavor, you yeah. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, it's one of our new favorite finds. We've literally been eating it, like, not twice so. to three times a week. <laughs> Okay, and then last but not least is an app. Um, I don't think we rarely have app favorites because I definitely prefer desktop for most of my <laughs> yeah, things. Yeah, I don't, I don't ever download new apps. Um, but the Goodreads app, so if you, I, have I mentioned this? No. You have Goodreads? Yeah, but did yeah. I put in a favorite? I don't know. Just mention it again. Okay, well, I really enjoy the app um, because well, for one thing, you can save books that you want to read. But I really love that you can update your progress of books you're currently reading. Um, and so it like basically when you go on the app, I'm sure you can't see this. I don't know. But when you go on the app, you just click on my books and then it'll tell you the books you're currently reading. I only read one at a time. So it says, I remember nothing and then update progress. And you can click on update progress and say what page you're on. So like at the end oh, of each, yeah, that's so at cool. the end of each night, um, I'll update my progress and then it tells you the percentage of the book that you're the way through. And oh, I so really, it's like the digital age for getting through a book. Yeah, and I really like that because then I'm like, oh, I only wrote this twice. I'm already like 47% of the way through. And then it kind of just makes you, I don't know, it's like tracking your progress. Mm -hmm. Like I feel like tracking your progress with any goal is a good thing. Mm -hmm. It's a good idea. It keeps you like accountable. And so that's my favorite thing about the app because you can track your progress of what you're reading. And then you can set reading challenges. So like for this year, I said I wanted to read 20 books. 
and I've read six out of the 20. So it also tracks your progress there. So it says I'm 30% of the way through and then it shows all the books that you've read. Um, and then again, you can save books that you want to read, save your favorite books, you can make your own bookshelves and organize everything. So if you're a book nerd like me, this app is great. And Does Amazon can... own Goodreads? Do they? I don't know. That would be a good purchase for Amazon. Yeah, I feel like it'd be something that they would do. Mm -hmm. You can follow people. If you want to follow me, I know a few people um, asked on like our, our videos mm -hmm. what my username was. Did I already forget it? I think we'll it's, just put it in the description. I'll put it in the description, but I think it's B Garso if you want to follow me. But I'll link it down below. Um, this is just one of my favorite apps. I don't even know if it's considered uh, like a social media app. I don't know, because you're kind of uh, social. Yeah, you're socializing, right? You're interacting with people. I think yeah. that's just what it... What I really love means. it. I think it's so great to, like, hold yourself accountable for your reading challenges mm -hmm. that you just say for yourself. Okay, and that's it for this week. We're really happy to be back with our weekly faves. And again, we're really sorry we were gone for a while. Yeah. But you guys understand, and you're the best. So thank you, and we'll be back next week with another one.